In this video, I want to introduce you to the normal distribution. What is it all about? How does it work? Okay, so what I want you to do is imagine that I want to weigh all of the sheep in the UK. Okay, now that's physically impossible. Uh, well, it's not physically impossible, but it would just take me a hell of a long time to actually do it. But what you would find is that the weights of the sheep and the data that you collect, the majority will be around a certain middle weight. I don't know how heavy a sheep actually is, but the majority will be around the middle. Okay, So there is this idea that the normal distribution is a model that represents this concept that in a lot of situations you'll find that the majority are in the middle of the distribution. Okay, As you would probably expect, it would be the same as you kind of modelling um, uh, the height of 17-year-olds uh, uh, across the country as well. There would be a lot of people in the middle, Okay, whereas there will be a few people who will be shorter and a few people who will be taller. OK, so this idea is that regardless of whether you're looking at the weights of sheep or the height of people, this model um, makes sense in both of those cases. OK, so because it's a model, it's uh, got its own mathematical equation that goes with it. We're not going to go through that in this video, but and you don't need to know that. Um, but it has its own mathematical equation. And the way that it's modelled is that it approaches the axis and gets closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to it, but never touches. And in, that happens in both directions. OK? So it gets closer and closer, but never quite touches it. So this idea that it can model all of these different situations that is why the normal distribution is taught and is important. So what defines it, really, is, well, where is the middle? OK, where is this middle value? Well, this middle value represents the mean, the mean of the data, OK? So one of the averages. And the way that we write the mean is we give it a Greek letter mu, OK? So it's got this Greek letter mu. So it's like a U, but with a tail. Also, the other thing that defines this distribution is how wide it is, OK? So not just where the centre point is, but actually how physically wide it is, OK? And that depends on the standard deviation. So the width and how kind of spread out the data is depends on the standard deviation. And the way that we describe a distribution, a normal distribution, is we say, and this is a very kind of mathematical lingo to write down, but this is how we describe it. We say that the distribution x, and we do this squiggly line in this tilde, is normally distributed. So we use a capital N for normal distribution. And we write in here the two bits of information that describe the distribution. So we've said about one of them, the mean. So the mean is written first. So that's the mu. And then we've got the standard deviation. Now, the way that we write this down, and historically speaking, the way that we write this down is rather than just writing down the standard deviation, we actually write down the variance, which is sigma squared. So in here goes the variance. So we have the mean and the variance. OK? And with those two bits of information, that is all you need to describe the distribution. OK? So um, it might be, you know, if we were talking about uh, the heights of 17-year-olds in the UK, OK, maybe... Uh, the mean height might be, I don't know, uh, 1.5 metres, for example. So we'd write 1.5. And then we write down the variance. So, I don't know, the uh, 
standard deviation might be um, 20 centimeters, say. Uh, so 0 0.2 is the standard deviation, so the variance is 0 0.2 squared. Okay, and so that is how we would write down that distribution. Okay, so that introduces you to the model, the concept of why we're going to be doing it, why we're going to be investigating it. And what we're going to be doing with these is, and the whole point of working with a normal distribution, is to estimate how likely it is that we would meet um, a student who is 17, uh, who is, um, I don't know, 1.7 metres or higher. Okay, what's the chances of that happening? Or what is the probability of um, selecting a sheep at random and them weighing um, under 100 kilos, for example, right? Um, or under 50 kilos or under 20 kilos, okay? So you're going to have uh, questions that detail all of these different scenarios, okay? So we're going to focus in on getting the maths bit right first, and then we're going to go into wordy problems.